the Summerland Sunday Market. A very friendly market in downtown Summerland on Sundays. They block off the main street and as you can see it's a busy place, lots of people here. Very friendly town and uh, lots of things to see and do. Hi. Hi, can you tell me a bit about your business? Uh, we're Boyd's Bars. Our bars are made of essential oils and clays and botanicals for coloring and they're all natural. We've got about 20 different varieties. We also have clay and botanical face masks and shampoo bars and beard oils and foams. We're from Simone Oils for fragrance, clays and botanicals. And are you doing quite a few markets? We're doing about four markets a week now. And how do you like this one? Uh, this is our first time here and so far it's great. It's got a nice vibe to it. It does, doesn't it? It does. Well, thanks very much. Thank you. Could you tell me a little about your business? Sure, absolutely. Uh, we are Summerland Heritage Cider. Let me find a full one. <laughs> and uh, we make three different kinds of cider. One is the Porter's Dry, so it's the driest one we do. It's made from 100% old world cider apples. Um, the next one is Tuesday's Original. It's uh, not too dry and not too sweet, so it sort of pleases every palate. Uh, it's made mostly from cider apples with some eating apples, dessert apples in it, to give it a little bit of more sweetness. And then there's the Sweet Paradise, and the main ingredient in the Sweet Paradise is the Donegold apple. Um, but it also has a little bit of uh, cider apple in it as well, just to give it some character and a little bit of so are you going to try some? Um, sure, I'll try some. Okie dokie. So we'll start off with the Porter's Dry. Which is the driest one we do. We released this one back in uh, November. The Porter's Dry. Yeah, it's pure old world cider apples in that cider. Fresh pressed juice. All of the apples are grown here in Summerland. Very nice. Next one is Tuesday's Original. It's not that sweet, really. Which one did you try? It's, sweet. it's not that sweet. It's the sweetest of the three, but it's yeah. uh, hmm. it's not sugar pop. No. No. It's real cider, is what it is. Yeah. So Tuesday's Original. Tuesday's Original. Tuesday's Original. Oh. Want to explain the name? Oh, no, that's a long story. <laughs> It's a good story. Okay, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Well, let's hear it from the man who started it. Tuesday started, well, because I, I farm by myself, I, you know, don't want to have a after after work drink by myself. So I started years ago. I'd take a cooler with some cider, maybe a core beer, show up at a couple friends' orchards, and we'd sit down and have a cold beer or cider after, after work on a Tuesday, sometimes a Friday, but I ended up going into more Tuesdays and then other growers started to stop in and sort of got together a bunch of us still do it today, uh, some ladies got involved now at this full sit down meal and we get together and talk about farming and joking and whatever. Things, things going on in Summerland, politics, right? <laughs> All the good things. All the good things in Summerland. So we're at the Viking Farm. Would you like to tell me a little bit about your farm? Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. A little bit? Yeah. That I've had for, my, well my mother did, we've had it for the family for 40 years. So you've been doing this for quite some time then? Oh yeah, I've been doing it for quite a while. Just going to get a shot of your uh, your produce. Beautiful. Well, this is an old friend of mine, Peter Waterman, and he's the mayor of Summerland. Peter, uh, thanks for coming down to our event here. Uh, I hope you're enjoying yourself today. It's, it's great, Fred. It's good to see you. I haven't seen you for ages, so it's nice to see you here at the market. Yeah, well, I love this market. It's uh, entertainment and lots of great vendors and a great asset to the city of Summerland. Well, it's, uh, it's really picked up. This is only the fourth Sunday, and the music is great, and 
I think we got close to 50 plus vendors this week. There were 45 last week. So it's and definitely I, growing. Yeah, I heard there were 1,500, 2,000 people last week. And this week looks like it's probably about the same. I don't know for sure, but um, it's an area, it's a time frame in the week that I think is great for someone. It's sort of a laid back kind of situation. and. Uh, People are strolling around and chatting, and uh, so I think it's going to be really good, and I think it's going to be excellent. So what do you think is the best feature about Summerland? I think probably if you, you know, the Chamber's got a new slogan called Take Your Time, and I think, you know, this market is sort of like that. It's like, come on down to Summerland, ease back, lay back, take your time, enjoy the place. Uh, it's a time to sort of you know, take it easy and relax. And that's, uh, we got the beaches, we now have this market, we've got a great couple of golf courses, and we got the winery tours, we've got the railway uh, KVR deal going, and they have their big banquets and train robberies and so on. And, you know, it's just an easy way to spend uh, Sunday. Okay, would you like to tell me a little bit about your booth here? So we are made here at Okanagan. We have two flavors of balsamic bliss that are used with a barrel aged balsamic vinegar and then infused with different things that we've uh, created from local growers. We have a garlic and a herb and a hot habanero and they're lovely on anything to put on your summer dishes. Well, thanks very much. Thank you. Looks beautiful. Thank you so much. Come and try a sample. <laughs> First. Okay, here's the garlic and herb balsamic bliss. Wonderful. What would Thank you put you. that on? Um, it's lovely on a grilled side of salmon, or it's wonderful on a quinoa or kale salad. I love salmon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. It's from Brazil. Brazil. They have the best uh, in the world. Yeah. When it comes to uh, these things. Do you have any Jasper? Hi. Jasper? Oh, God. Hi, Brenda. Yes, I do. Are you it's Jennifer Wright. Yeah, how are you? Hi, can you tell me about your booth? So, this is the Okanagan Nation uh, Fisheries Program. We have, a, have had a fisheries program for over 12 years where we harvest the eggs and raise the fry and release them. And now we have canned salmon and maple smoked salmon and candied salmon and flash frozen salmon as well. Yeah, yeah. So All the, our salmon's wild. It's uh, they travel out through the Columbia River system to the Pacific. Uh, we've been working on restoration of the Columbia River system, putting in uh, the fish ladders, and um, we harvest our sockeye from the Soyuz Lake. Wonderful. So uh, just to be, you know, to clarify for the, the viewers, the ok Okanagan uh, Nation, that would be a, a First Nation. It's a First Nations. Um, the Okanagan Nation Alliance is um, our governing body over seven bands in the Okanagan Nation. And we've been trying to restore the salmon because the salmon used to be in all three lakes in the Okanagan, but because of the damming of the river systems, they haven't been able to get back. So we have one more ladder to get through so they can get through into Okanagan Lake. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. This is Laurel Burnham, who is the manager of the Summerland Sunday Market. So uh, quite a good market you've got oh, here today. We love our little market here on the main street in Summerland. It's an initiative of the Summerland Rotary Club. They're a great group of folks to work with and we're very excited to be able to do this wonderful little market right down the, in the heart of beautiful downtown Summerland. Bring this great group of vendors and whatnot. We have 56 vendors here today. And for our seventh market, that is absolutely awesome. What a nice surprise, what a nice surprise. Bring your alibi. Hi, so what's your name? My name is Yam Cooper. I'm an author and illustrator and a musician. And uh, Yam, you've got a book here that you, uh, you wrote. Yes. And uh, what's that all about? It's the story of Bill and his house on the hill. It's a book that I published, wrote and illustrated. And it's about a grass-haired man who's looking for friends in a world that doesn't like grass-haired people. 
And in the book he actually invents the language that bypasses discrimination and connects people through the heart. And it's part of a bigger movement for kindness that I'm bringing to children, families and schools about bullying, about awareness to diversity, to people who are different, leadership, creative problem solving. I am passionate about creating material for kids that will help them to, de to develop the skills that will make them better caretakers of our planet in the future. So this is what I'm about. Well, that's great. And have you got uh, any other books on the go or have you started another one? Many books on the go. There will be more books in the series. And But for now it's just this one and also an activity booklet that I have for kids to develop imaginative drawing skills. Well, thanks very much. Thank you. We've got our very own Make It, Bake It, Grow It block. We have Summerland Cidery here and Giant's Head Winery, which is fabulous. We have all kinds of wonderful fresh vegetables, super baking, Rani Bakery, Kajita's Bakery, True Grain Breads is out as well. We really believe that this kind of initiative is what's going to bring revitalization to the downtown core of Summerland. Yay! And make it a beautiful, relaxed community event. And that's what markets are all about, bringing people together. We're doing it under the lovely sunny skies of Summerland. We're very happy, very pleased with what's going on and hope to continue many years in the future. So come on out, we love it. We love having new vendors, we're always open to drop-ins. We've got great produce, leather work, jewelry, etched glass today, clothing, all kinds of wonderful stuff. And we're happy to be here in the streets of downtown Summerland.